name is Tama Wong. Welcome to my tape on Charlie Fat Fundamental, Charlie Fat Kevin Kong. My student Chung Lee is demonstrating the warm up exercise. Now it's the leg first. Have to relax. And remember, control your breathing. You turn one side, breathe in, other side, breathe out. And slowly, soon rush. Get a good stretch. Okay, first, you can turn one side and then rotate the other side. Now get down to the shoulder and relax and rotate. Extend the chest when you roll back. And now when we call things out, swing your arm. Try to keep your body still. Just work on the shoulder. Open your fingers. Let the breath go all the way to your fingertip. But first you can start slowly and then you can speed up later. Forward and backward. And another one is a side stretch. When you bend down, try to breathe out. Slowly. I can soon rush. Okay, another one is rotate your body. You can really get a deep stretch. Bend down and forward, one side and then the other side. Remember the toilet style is real flexible and also a lot of power. You need to really stretch out or warm up before you get into the exercise and get into the technique to avoid the injury. Now when we call manhe. So just squat down, try to reach forward and breathe. Slowly, soon rush, and take your time, and get down as much as you can. And then we keep your front leg straight. Another one is fuck four. And just squat down, and keep your body still and straight. You full up, just use a heel. Stretch your hamstring and get down. Each stretch you should hold for a little while. And sit down on four. And then bend your left first and really relax. Now here just a short demonstrating. When you do it yourself, you should take a little bit longer time. Up to both sides and forward. You really have to keep your back straight. So reach forward. And then your front, again your leg straight, your foot up. And flex your foot, that will stretch better. And breathe, remember your breathing. And the most important thing is relax. See how much you can do, just little by little you stretch out and more flexible. Take some of your feet together. And you can do it yourself and also you can have a partner. And push from the back slowly. Remember when you start out, start out lightly first. And then push the lead. Okay, another one is a split. Of course, you start the exercise, you cannot do the split right away. Just take a little bit of time and patience and stretch out little by little. And 
another one is the fun rising kick and mainly for stretching remember fix the foot and really get your hamstring stretch out when you kick remember to breathe breathe it out now here's Patrick demonstrating the push up the conditioning After the hand, do the lacro and your fist. And then the tiger claw. Remember to do your tiger claw use the tip of your fingers. Don't bend your finger. And next one will be the panther fist touch you can use the back of the fingers and use the thumb and then the sit ups beside the thumb you can twist the body a little When you don't have to go all the way, just lift your body a little, meaning you bend your head. Now it's more heavy duty. Raise the leg and really get good on the stomach. Now it's another one, it's kicking the back of your leg to strengthen the stances, to make it stronger and also it's good for your ankles. Another one is something freestyle we call and mainly for condition your forearm. And also this one remember that don't do it too heavy. Now we get down to the tie dog, the conditioning and you can use some steak put together. The one having the heat has to really concentrate. Remember, at first, have to be light and get more force little by little. So I look for stances and footwork. Get ready, follow along, and this is the horse dance, saving mark. Now do your horse dance, have to keep your body straight, and relax, relax upper body, try to make it lower at the beginning. That's really to make your stance strong. This is cast stance, deal mark. The front legs should only have 20% weight and the back leg is 80%. And our one is easy stance. I see my back legs are a little bit bent. You shouldn't keep all the way straight and also the front leg left a lot. The reason bend the back leg is we want to retreat fast and change the techniques and change the stances fast. And our one twist stance. And also twist stance real light and also soon lock your knees because you want to change one technique to another. Next one we call Tai Tai is the crane stance. Keep your body straight. This one is good for your balance. Another one is Kaelin Bow, the queuing stance. You stand, have to be light, 
Hajj im Ofen. Das ist der basic Queen's Dance. Das ist der Leading Dance, Guaymar. Und also ihr Lee ist in Touch the Four. Avoid hurting your Lee. Das ist wie ein ein squat down. From the cast dance to the horse dance and then the ET kill your ma. ET stance and back to horse dance. That's the combined footwork. That's our basic footwork. You can do this every day as a drill. When you do the stance, take a little bit time, each stance, hold for a little while. To really develop your stances. That's the queen stance. And move back, become a horse stance. This exercise is real good for your balancing. And now in twist stance. And then become a queen stance. For instance, remember have to be flexible. Toilet for the hand and blocking techniques. Okay, this is uh, the regular fist. Just want to show you from the basic. That's a strict punch. Punch the miss section. And also when we punch, we don't hold tight. Just relax and make it strong the last second. And remember when you use the power you have to breathe. The common sound from our style is sit. Remember the sound that comes from the Dante. Another one is the panther, top trick. You put your thumb on top of your, of your index finger. That's upper we call chang lan chui. Another one, top trick. This yang top trick. We talk about yin and yang. This yang top trick. This one is yang top trick. The yin. And twisting get a lot of power. The yum top tray we describe as a drill, the twisting in a lot of force. This for the eye, just make your feet flat. You shouldn't twist. Talk about the structure of the head, you have to make it flat. Use the top of your knuckles. We describe the panther as a knife. If you really develop it, just like a knife, real easy to cut it in, real powerful and sharp. For solar plexus and for the stomach. is our Twitter for Stars main techniques. High, middle, and low. You can practice in a different section. My another one is the Tiger Claw. Cloth, you can use the lower part of your palm, make a palm strike, and then get the scratch or grab. A lot of force on the fingertip. And 
and you say we have tried the tiger club, you say sound wah. We get down to the Yamwa. Who have to go in? First in the face, you can scratch, pop the eyeball. And so we practice and also you can scratch or pull down. And then the Yamwa go down to the coin. Elements of Chinese style are chum, la, gua, sao, chap, pao, kap, biu, zhong, den. These are the ten elements of Chinese style, including all the basic and main techniques. This is scratch. This is the type of cloth techniques. High section, drop down to the low section, and beside that you can practice the footwork. That's the leading stance. Quite ma. Another is the crane techniques. That's the beat. Like the crane. This one is hopping. It's the head of the crane. These techniques including the wings and the head and the beak of the crane. But that's the way how to hold it. Now follow me and put your fingers together tight. So first you see my left hand hook and then hit his temple for the ears, the back of the ears or the leg. The left hand you can block and then grab. And next one block and then go to the hot thing. The beak is the fingertip. Hot thing is the back of your hand. Another one is the snake. Because Song Pa, Song Bill. Block the first and then go to the finger thrust and come back, you can defend yourself. You see, I, I pull back a little to defend myself, just in case he attack or he fight back. Sneak is real fast technique. That's the dragon. The first is to grab and get down with another techniques. That's the finger thrust. That's the, also the dragon techniques. The first grab, the second one you can go to the throat or to the chest, the solar plexus. Show you how to use those techniques. and get right to his leg or to his throat. That's the dragon technique is one of the seven five animals techniques. The dragon, Long Ying. The seven five animal techniques are dragon, snake, tiger, panther, and queen. We call long se fu pa ho. The wife to his leg. This is dragon techniques. Go down to the hand techniques. This is Sao Chou. This room main techniques from our style. It's a lot of power. 
is come from your waist and your stances. The soldier can be a long range techniques and also can be short range techniques. Now you see, I never use the single soldier techniques by yourself. You have to block it, control, and then apply the soldier. If you use just the single soldier techniques, it can be real dangerous because your body is wide open. You block. Right away you get in. And remember Salcho, you don't hold you tight and mainly have to come from the shoulder. And now one is the pu jong. And when you do the pu jong, your weight has shifted a little bit forward. This one, Buzhong, you can aim the temple, the leg, or the grip. This is the upper techniques for the temple, for the head. And also you can get down to his rib block, to his rib. Now it's the Gua Chui, the, the short Gua Chui and then long range Gua Chui. Totally but not just the long arm techniques, we have lost short and long. You see the same name Gua Chui, but we have two, one short, one long. Long, the long range Gua Chui has a lot of power. Gua is the back fist. But those are single techniques. In a real situation, in a real comeback, we don't just use one technique. Usually we combine them together. The first one is short. Gua Choy, the back fist, and then change into long range. Just come from your waist too and your stance and your shoulder. Remember this technique, you shouldn't hold tight. Everything is use relaxed power. That's the ta choi or bin choi, the turning fist. Now you see me when, when I turn around, you shouldn't keep your arms straight. You have to bend like elbow first and then get to his head or to his temple. The turning fist got a lot of power too. The another one is the two now, the clean block. These are our main blocking techniques. When you block, keep your arms straight. The actual meaning of chin now, we have two separate meanings. The first chin means block, the second one, blau, is the grappling. So actually this one you can use as blocking and then grappling. And also combined with other techniques, either gua shui or fun kill. Or sao chui. Depends on the situation. And also chin now is not force to force, it's sliding forward. You don't kill. Either you can close your fist or open hand. Open hand is more relaxed. And also use a waist. You should hold tight. Remember.
my Lord used to relax power. And you can combine the palm strike up the block. Another one is top kill in the block. The same thing you can use the fist or open hand. And also you have to use relaxed power. Block. Now you see a lot of techniques we don't just use one hand. You see my left hand beside my inner block. I use the left hand to block his arm. In fact, you can use for a grabbing or break his elbow. Another one is deep kill. That's the lower block. You can use, use a twist stance or use a hot stance or easy stance and also depends on the situation. That's the basic block technique. Another one is we call Kung upper block and palm strike. And really get into your waist. And get in right away, don't waste your time. Block and then attack at the same time. Don't give him a chance. Upper block and palm strike. Stand too much on Q. That's the lower block is a wrist. And also this got a lot of power. Remember the ten elements of toilet, but that's the first element. Chung. We got Chung Q. If you really get the power, he will get a lot of pain when you block it. Fanzong uppercut. Hit the solar plexus or the jaws. You see, block it first and get down to the uppercut. And follow me one more time. And then uppercut. the elephant techniques to go and get to the temple by the side of the leg and also this one is real strong fist too you can see this one uses a lot of the body power and the waist of course combined the stance and change into each stance EG kill young ma Another one is Pao Zhong. I see my left hand usually come back at the same time use for blocking. Remember toilet style, never use one hand and rest the other hand. We use at the same time or block and then attack. We attack and other hand there to prepare and get ready.
now when it's Changjiang, remember Charlie for his real famous on the palm, open hand techniques. Get down. One thing's good for the for the palm strike is you can really relax. You don't use a lot of force. In fact, get a lot a good result. Block it and give him a palm strike to his leg or to his face. Another one, pack three. A hammer fist, pack three. To the side of the head, to the side of the ear or the leg. That's no strong technique. Then you can see here you block first and get in to hit with the hammer fist. Remember, we never use one hand. Toilet for hand combinations. Open stance, Sao Chou. First block, the EG stance, Sao Chou. Remember your breathing when you do the Sao Chou. Move fast. Block right away, get in, get Sao Chou. Sao Chou can be real fast techniques because you just use your shoulder like a post swing in. Sao Chui, Liu Zhong. Sao Chui, Liu Zhong. First one, Sao Chui. He get in and then use the Liu Zhong to lock him out. And remember these techniques, I show only one side. When you practice, you can do the right side and also the left side. The same principle. Sao Chui, he in and Liu Zhong right away, a lot of power. Right away, a lot of power. Another one, Gua Chui, Kam Zhang, this long range back fist and follow up with the palm strike. You can see, use a lot of waist. And then the EG stance. You want to get more power, use the twist stance. That's why I said earlier, the twist stance have to be loose, don't lock your lead. Because after the palm strike, you don't know what's going to happen, you have to change the other techniques. Another one is Qin Ji Chui, Biu Zhong. Qin Ji Biu Zhong. This is a real good combination. You block it, hit, or you miss, he think that he can get in, and right away get back to the Biu Zhong, to his face, to his leg. Two now, top to the Queen Buck, and the Yang, top two. But right away get into his photo, solar plexus. Or to his face. Right away, use the pen the fist.
Another one is cross stand, gua chui, and turn around, da chui, the back fist. First block it, and the turning fist, da chui, or bin chui. As you see me, my eyes always keep an eye on my pollen. for kicking techniques. First, I'm showing you the fun kick. Now you see my hand, block it down and kick. Remember Charlie, if I use you use the combination. How do you ever work on a single move? You can block or you can that's the first technique. Young kill. On the block, palm strike. Block. Now you see me beside the the hands blocking. You can see my hand. The other hand was protecting yourself. Remember, try but always with one hand. The other hand prepare. Block it first and step in with the palm strike. Follow along, block, out of block, you don't kill. And slide forward a little and pump strike. Tongue jump. To the other side, left hand, block, right in, and the pump strike. Block it first, right away step in to sweep or the chest or the solar plexus. And get down right away. Now you see the other hand also protecting protecting yourself. Block and then go down, palm strike. Second technique. Is because jump kill, tanma in the block, knife hand. And also beside the hand blocking, you see the other hand grab. Remember, try to use your work with both both hand. Block it first, step in, knife hand on the leg or to the throat. And also you can hit the face too. First the inner block. You can either hold your fist or open hand. And then get in knife hand. Done lock. Lock it first, get in, and knife hand. Remember you do the techniques, you want to be strong and also don't forget to be flexible. First block it in the block, grab and slide forward the knife hand. This technique is mainly used for inside of the body. We call Lloyd himself. Another one. Upper block, palm strike. Long Q, Chang Jiang. At the same time, block and strike at the same time. 
practice very effective techniques. First, upper bar and palm strike. Remember, when you train this wooden dummy, don't just use full force. Hit little by little, at first lightly, and then get more power. This one mainly for aim the chest, not the solar plexus. Using these techniques, you need to step forward, get closer. Okay, next one. It's the two now. Grab. Two now. Grab. Two now. It's the clean block and then the grab. Two now, either you can block outside or inside. Usually, two now follow up with the other techniques. That's show the application for the two now. Remember again, when you first train your wooden dummy, the Ching Chong. At first, lightly first, and then later on, you have to hit harder to get a full force. Chun now, the name Chun now in Chinese, the first Chun means block, Lao is the grab. Actually, these techniques including two main techniques. My name is Tama Wong. Welcome to my take on the pressure point fan, Da Yu Sin, and the Plum Blossom Double Edge Sword, Bui Fa Tan Kim. This is the fan, and that's the pressure point and the vital point. And that's the shoulder, the first the temple. Use, you can use the end for the flow, and use the front part of the fan. That's the face and the solar plexus for the stomach, for the rib, and for the groin. And get down to the pedal point of the leg and the knee. So some point at the back, the back of the leg, and the top of the head, and that's the spine. And get down to the kidney and the back of the knee. The first technique is T, the poke. When you do this technique, you really have to concentrate. And next one is jaw. This is the dead end. The very really strong techniques. First strike, and then the jaw. The first poke, he block it and use the jaw when you step in. Do one more 
time. It's very strong techniques on the solo practice. It's the second techniques. The first is the Wang Dong, side block, and then the Ta. It's a side strike. First block and then strike. First block with the, the side block. This is very smooth techniques. Block in a circle and go down to his tempo. Do one more time, block it, and hit the head or the temple or the leg. Another one. Open the fan. Slip the finger and flip and then open. I try to practice a few more times until you can handle it. The next technique is the upper slide. Slice. Upwork. The edge of the fan is real sharp. When you open it up, that's the metal stick it out. You can cut through the skin. First technique you can use for blocking is how you can cut his arm and you get into his throat, the upper slice. Block it. Get in right away to his flow, you can cut through. <laughs> the fighting fan is made of metal, so that's a really strong <laughs> weapon. Block it and then get in right away to his flow. Another one, they open the fan, it's similar to the one before, but now you used it for blocking and it's the body of the fan when you open and slice upward. you can use for blocking and the right away you can go to his underarm because the position you block his fist in the mid section so you want to get down lower to his whip or the underarm cut the pressure point another one Chao Chi and Wang Da. First upper bar and poke and then side strike. This one is for low section. You can hit the whip or the leg. First spark and then for low section strike. First block and get in with the poke and then side strike to the point. First block get in, so practice, and then to the point. This technique is real smooth techniques too. You get the block and get in, and then another technique follow up. The block, poke, and then jaw. The last technique is really strong with the dead end of the fan and with the cross dance. Cross dance we call kauma or tauma. Get in 
right away. This technique is real close techniques. And also real good to change the position of the fan. The roll on the floor and then get in hole and then lock it up. Roll on the floor we call Guan Day and then Hong and Wang Da and block and then side strike to lead the back of the Li if the position right you can hit the whip or the point Small pump blossom from full speed and power. Remember, be patient in your learning. It is important to understand each move. You must be dedicated in your training. Small plum plus and form applications. I can call Fu Zhao Chang Zheng Shin Kick We got Chang Fu First Fu Zhao, he block it and then switch, switch the leg and finish with the Shin Kick Shin Kick First technique is Fu Zhao Palm strike And the shin kick Chin now, top two Front kick, paw two First two now, top two, block, front kick, paw two. Front kick in Chinese we call Deng Toi. Come jump, elbow, 
লক্ষ্যের Carefully, quarter can be used for striking or for blocking. Here we use for blocking. Remember, build on you move, shift your way a little bit forward to get more power. So when you do your build jump, don't lock your arm. In green form, full speed and power. Remember, it's good to learn the form in sections. Work on each section over and over again. Understand the techniques and perfect them. Be patient in your learning. In green form applications. The first one, Dilma Cham Kyu, Sao Choi, Cham Kyu, Black First, and the Sao Choi, Circular Punch. When you do the south, remember you have a look like your opponent is right on your shoulder. When you do the south, you don't follow your fist right over your shoulder. Talk first and the south tray. When you do the south, you have to be relaxed. If you do it too stiff, it will be too slow. First, the chum kill. Block first. Another block and the south tray. Right onto his temple or the leg.
second one. First, Sao Chui. Sung Tui Jung. Block first, Sao Chui. Double palm strike. Touch to his temple and right onto his chest with double palm strike. Block. Apply Sao Chui to his temple. Right away, get in, step forward, a palm strike. Remember, use the palm strike more internal. Relax and get in. Another one. Song Pa. Song Piu. That's the panther fist. First, you can drop or grab to get in the double panther fist. The stand here we use is the ET Kill Yama ET stance. First block, and step forward, right to his throat or the chest or the eyes. <laughs> 